Thursdays. That's right. It's Thursday. Man, I haven't said that in so long. It feels like it's been a whole year. Well, six months or so. Nah, five months or so. Anyways, just checking out these beautiful LED blinkers. Making sure everything is working. We are heading out. Well, I am heading out. Once again, switch over to the other blinker here. Heather will not be able to make it until tomorrow evening. But that's okay because I can get all set up for her. That way she doesn't have to do any of the hard work. It's a blinking. All my running lights are working. So, I'm going to get out of here get on the road. It's starting to rain. It's probably going to be a crappy weekend. It's going to be cold. But you know what? We're going to be camping, so that's all that matters. All right, I'll see you guys. Hunderson State Park in Northeast Ohio, located at 11755 Kinsman Road in Newberry, Ohio. This campground features 167 20 amp electric service sites, 20 full hookup with 30 and 50 amp service. These sites are located at site one through 18 and 20 and 22. There are also three group sites with 20 amp service that accommodate 25 people. All sites in this park are pet friendly. There are seven bathrooms. There are three shower houses. Well, I made it. It's rainy. Um, it's getting muddy. And I was in a spot up there. And they said, you can't reserve sites. I started backing into the site. The guy pulled up behind me and said, hey, this is my site. I reserved it. I'm like, you can't reserve it. He said, well, I did. I got a paper saying I reserved it. So I didn't argue with him. I'm not like that. There's other, so other spots, so I just moved to another one. But look at the angle on this thing. That is one hell of an angle. So not sure if this is going to work. I'm going to give it a go. Eh, camping in the spring. It's always questionable. So this is what I woke up to this morning. Yeah. It rained all night long. We got a lake over here. I found the disc golf course, but I don't think I'm going to play. It's a little bit too wet. And it's kind of hard to throw a disc when you got muck boots on. <laughs> but let's see what kind of information we can find. Wow, this is a big course. Okay, so the course has evolved. Looks like it was a 9, then an 18, then a 23, and now a 27. Cool. Man, I really want to play. But, maybe tomorrow I can drag Heather out here. So if you haven't been to Punderson, the first thing I noticed <laughs> on the check-in building window was, if you encounter a bear, what to do? So, they must have some bear up this way. I'm hoping not to encounter a bear today, because I didn't bring my ass-kicking boots. <laughs> Water's moving. So I just went for a little ride and ended up in Chagrin Falls. If you've never been here, it's a cool little town, lots of little boutiques. Um, and there's a cool 
waterfall. Check that out. Yeah, I just wish the weather was better. Nice little city park here. This tree which gives life and comfort to all who pass its way is planted in memory of George D. Cameron, senior physician and friend of the community as a symbol of the way he too lived. Nice little waterfall. Okay, get back in the car and see what else we can find. Heather is almost here. I probably should go get her because they are not letting anybody bring second cars back. Even though some people have. And they parked in the muddy ground. I am not going to be one of those guys. Oh, turn off the fireplace. Hi. You need to get this stuff out of my trunk. Okay. On. Hey, everybody. I'm going to do a real quick video on the extended X chocks. This is for axle widths of 10 inches or more you have to get these there's a lot of reviews online for the normal x chocks but not for the extended i guess they're it would be the same review but these are the extended they'll go up to 17 inches this is when you have the wider uh separation in your axles and they work really good you get a little tool you put it on there you crank it on when these come to you they're completely closed up and it takes about 10 minutes to get them to this distance so so the only bad thing about this is you're not going to want to collapse these every time you're done it'll take forever so i'm just going to probably throw them in the bed of the truck but these are the extended ones they take out this motion in the camper that x chucks they really do work heather is always complaining that camper's wiggling they're wiggling and then i always used to come out and crank down the stabilizers more you shouldn't do that. Those stabilizers are not meant to lift or to have a lot of pressure on them. You're supposed to touch and then give it a half turn after that. These take out the majority of your shaking. So, buy the x chucks It's Friday and... What the heck is Heather doing over there? What are you doing over there? You're swimming. We're at Punderson. We have our own fishing pond. <laughs> John was out here earlier with his fishing pole. He didn't catch anything but a mess of leaves. Yeah. Um, We're actually on a peninsula because we have this lake here and we have another one on the other side of the truck. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, this is what you get in the spring. That's it. Everybody's walking around with rain boots on. I got muck boots on. I'm standing here waiting for him to videotape this, and my feet are dry, so. Muck boots work. We endorse muck boots. We sure do. We're camping. Apparently it's going to rain here in a little bit, so we're going to wait to kick up a fire. If we can get the fire lit. We will. Our fire pit does have standing water in it. It's okay. And I do want to talk about something real fast. What? Can you come with me? Yeah. Okay, come on. Where are we going? We have mud outside of our camper. It is very muddy. So we paid for a full hookup site. Just so you guys know here at Punderson State Park, the water is not supposed to be turned on until the 1st of May. We're fortunate and they decided to turn it on early. However, John was certain that we did not have sewer. And we went to the store to find out why are we paying for a full hookup site when we don't have sewer. We found it and they trick you. Let me show you where it's at. Take a picture of that water. Yeah. So, there's your sewer. It's underneath this that says water meter. And it has that bolt in it making you think it's bolted down so I didn't even try to lift it up but then I walked around to some other campers and noticed that they had their sewer going to something so uh show them our other lake oh yeah here's the other lake just snake in it nope that's just a stick <laughs> anyways it's like our camper is now 20 foot tall because <laughs> So on the front 
door of the camp store, and we're going to take you guys Let's along, walk over. Um, tomorrow and show you guys around. However, at the camp store, there is a sign that says, if you encounter a bear. The lady at the camp store said, oh, we have a resident bear. Thanks. If you Thanks encounter a bear, don't run. Yeah, do what this. How do you mean, don't run? That's what you're supposed to do. Don't you know that? I'm smaller. I think I learned that in second grade. I can run faster than you. I'll you cannot outrun a bear. I'm going to outrun you. Bear's going to eat you. I'm going to be <laughs> safe. She can't outrun me. I will. I promise you. I'll push you down. <laughs> oh, and that's what three years of marriage looks like I bailed out of work a little bit early today it was only what from Canton it was an hour and 17 minutes straight up route 44 so what else so we are going to make some coney dogs later maybe take a walk maybe have some beverages and we're gonna kick up this fire yeah we're gonna I promise try you, to get no, the fire going there ain't no promising oh let's oh yeah, tell them what else we found what did we find look at oh look at this yes, hold on don't say that. what it is look at this can anybody tell me what all these green things are what are those well heather ripped one off smelled it they're Here, chives smell a vision smell a vision they're chives they're this chives. whole area is full of chives. I love it. We didn't even need to bring food. We could just pick the chives and eat them. Chives of ketchup. Chives sick. of mustard. Chives of barbecue sauce. Chive breath sleeping in the truck by yourself. Hey, supposedly keeps you healthy. Mm. But anyway, <coughs> we'll get back to you guys if we get this fire going. It's supposed to rain. Only for maybe it an hour. It is raining as we speak. Yeah, it I is. I feel it. Yep. Anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Me and my crazy hair. Good morning. Nineteen ninety nine at Walmart. Five and a half inches wide. It'll brew ground coffee or K cups. Great investment. No breaking glass. Look at this. Saturday. Blue skies. No rain. Until tonight. Until tonight. The lakes on either side of our peninsula site have dried up. Yeah. So no more fishing or kayaking at our site. There is a nature center. Um, we're being told that it's not open yet. They're bringing a naturalist from another location. Uh, and they, that person is expected here in the next couple weeks. But small playground. We've got basketball courts, an area for the kids to play. You might not be able to... Swing keep. set. Yep, Just okay. beyond the trees over there is the outdoor theater. So we are in the closed section of the park right now. I believe this is sites 91 through 201. <coughs> it's pretty up here. It is beautiful up here. Um, we're way up. One thing to note if you're, you've never been to Punderson, this is a nice park. This is a big park. The loop or section that we're staying in is the only section that has 30 and 50 amp hookup. Everything else in the park is only 20 amp, like a standard plug. Yeah, look at all those trails. Here is, okay, this is a good map. So this area here is your campground. Here's the main lake. Uh, trails all around here. We are in this area right here. We are camping in this area down here. Um, the lodge is over here. Archery range. This is that 27 hole disc court, golf course I was at. Regular golf Regular course. Regular golf course. Does it say which ones are? There's a sled hill and then that sports chalet. They, I saw something about that. I'm going to have to look that up. They do something there. 
but I don't know what. Okay, here we go. XC skiing, dog sledding, snowshoeing, snowmobiling, snowmobiling staging area. So lots of different activities you can do throughout the whole year here at Punderson. So we're, this is one site 189. This would be a great site. Um, you wouldn't have to worry about being married to him because you're not me. But the fire pit, you wouldn't have uh, mud outside your door. And just look at the space between these sites. You don't have your neighbors up on you. There is brush in between uh, campsites. Now, if this were only upgraded electric, uh, some of these sites would be nice. Site 188. 189 over there is a nice one. Your fire pit's up and around, so it's not right by your camper. Lots of woods. Hey, that's a nice site. I gotta go check that out. This is Site 187. This is the top of the campground. Very pretty. Look at those birds! Very nice sights. Pretty views. This would be beautiful in the fall, you know, when the leaves are changing. See how peaceful and quiet it is up here? I love this. Yeah, until everybody comes up here and camps and then everybody gets loud. Yeah. Both the park and the lake take their names from Lemuel Punderson, a young enterprising land agent who became Newberry Township's first permanent settler in 1808. Punderson constructed a small dam on the south side of the Big Pond, as he called it, and used the outflowing water as a power source for a grist mill. The Punderson family developed a small estate on the edge of the sparkling Blue Lake. Their home became a popular gathering place for family and friends. The area surrounding the Punderson Lake developed into a quiet resort providing a getaway from the bustling Cleveland setting. Summer cottages and even a small hotel were built on the hills surrounding the lake. In 1929, construction began on the English Tudor Manor House, but the facility was not completed until 1948. That year, the ODNR Division of Wildlife purchased the land for lake and hunting and fishing. In 1951, the area was transferred to the Division of Parks and Recreation for development as a state park. The manor house was completely remodeled and opened to the public on November 15, 1956. A structural renovation was completed in 1982. Pretty sure that was the line from uh, the jerk when he was working at the gas station and all of a sudden the cans started exploding. The guy was shooting from far away with a sniper rifle. Oh yes, it was. Yeah. It was. <laughs> Let's talk about Punderson. It's a nice park. Yeah. I bet you in the summertime it is really okay. happening. So something that you guys would have already seen and we want to talk to you about. I think we're going to try this new for this season. Start giving you guys stats of the parks that we're staying at at the beginning of the video. Yeah, so what you saw when I was pulling in to the campground, Heather does a voiceover for those. And it's pretty much all the stats of the campground. Yeah. But one thing that I want to focus on, and I know a lot of people talk about, you know, what is there to do? So I think we are going to focus on things to do in the park. Yeah. So what can you do here? Yeah. They have an archery range. Yeah. With very clear signs not to go into the woods here because it's an archery range. It's open to the public. You don't have to camp here to use it. Obviously, they have a beach. You'll see that at some point in the drone footage. I think John got video of that.
they do have the disc golf. Um, apparently, it is extremely popular. They have tournaments here in the summertime. Yeah, I said all that earlier. Oh, okay. Oh. It went from 9 to 18 Blair. to 23 to 27. Okay. All right, so we got uh, um, archery. We got disc golf. They do have an 18-hole pro go golf course here. I would say this turned out to be a successful first trip out for the 2019 camping season. What would you say? Me too. Yeah? Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. I had fun. I always like to camp. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We're open to suggestions. Let us know down yeah, below. Yeah, if there's something you're like, you know what? You guys should talk about this in every single video. We'll do it. Let us know. As long as it's not something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if it's dumb, we're not doing it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, what was that? Woodpecker. Huh. Ooh. We I gotta know. tend to this fire. It's about ready to go out. Yep, we're home. We're home. Camper is airing out. I would say trip number one. For the books of 2019. Yep. We had a good, good time. One. We had a good time. We had a great time. No issues. So we did wake up this morning, Sunday, to a text message from Mike and Lynn Wagner of the Wandering Wagners. They lost their pup, Wolf. So that was sad news to wake up to. Sure was. We loved Wolf. So if you guys watch their channel, just send them some love. Yep. It's hard. Very hard. Um... When you lose a, a member of your family. So just keep them in your thoughts and your prayers. And we look forward to our next camping trip. Yep. Two weeks. Remember you guys, the only thing better than a campfire are the memories made around it. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.